I'm Dave Crane, um, I'm a hypnotherapist, I'm a stage hypnotist and life designer. I've been in Dubai for about 13 years and uh, I used to be known for working on radio, though you wouldn't recognise my face from that. And I do lots of events like Dubai Desert Rock Festival, Dubai Rugby Sevens and mad stuff like that. And so on, so forth and I've been doing shows all around the world now. I've performed in South Africa, Germany, Spain, France, wherever and it's, it's really exciting. Hypnosis isn't about me hypnotizing people, it's about them hypnotizing themselves. So if you want them to do it against their will, it's not going to work. That's why I ask for volunteers. I give them techniques and they put themselves into hypnosis. And they feel like they're daydreaming. Some go so deep that they, they don't remember anything. Some remember everything, but they just don't stop doing it because they love what they do. There's six different levels to which you can go, but it's fascinating. And every show I do is completely different. The audience is always different and I never know what I'm going to get from it, but it's always fascinating. What I find so fascinating about the whole idea of stage hypnosis, even though it is comedy and it is entertainment, is if you make somebody speak Martian or be the world's greatest um, boxing champion or the world's greatest cheerleader, imagine what else you can do for them in real life. You can make them the world's best salesman or the most successful parent or even just happy. Same techniques for the same kind of stuff. So that's where life design comes in. Adding coaching techniques to um, NLP and hypnosis to give people the best that they can possibly be. And that's what I love. Most of the time when I talk to people about elements of life design or about success, they don't believe that they can do it because they've already conditioned themselves to limits. They actually have limiting beliefs that say, well, I can't do it because everybody else I know around me can't do it. Well, that's why some people are super successful and most people aren't because they don't believe they can do it. And when you actually show them what they can do and give them the first spark of how, how they can own their own lives and make the changes for the very first time and create success and then they're off. They realise that the journey isn't necessarily about being the best in the world, it's being the best that you can be and it's only, the only person that's in that race and in that competition is you. As for the people who, in, who enjoy it, there's a whole range. I mean when I do my corporate training I generally do it with, I would guess, middle-aged people because that's the people that would be sent along as regional managers or executives to the kind of sessions that I do. But it'd be nice to get it in at an earlier stage. I've always believed if you could teach NLP, which is Neuro Linguistic Programming, to any country, you could take a third world nation, you could take a, a, a country that is just on its last legs. If you could train the next generation to be NLP practitioners within a generation, they would be the world's best, guaranteed. All you have to do is, and they'd be the best at sport, the best at invention, and they'd be the people sending out around the world that would suddenly be the, the, the highest paid executives in the world. All you have to do is teach them self-improvement and teach them NLP, and you're off. Yeah, I mean, same as anybody who embraces something new, especially in psychology or, or therapy, it's usually because they want to work on themselves first. You know, if somebody becomes a social worker, it's because in their own personal lives, they, they experience tough times. Um, my, for my own thing, I went through a relationship breakup, and I wanted to know what happened to my emotions in my head. I was all over the place, and I wanted to sort it out. And when I first started looking into the different things that happened and understanding hypnosis and NLP and all the rest of the things that were related to it, um, it, it suddenly opens up a whole new world. Not just about what I could do for myself, but what I could do for other people too. And it's not often, it's not about um, these huge changes that we need to make. A little change on a regular basis is all you need to make every, all you need to know is that little step that you, if somebody says, I want to run a marathon, you don't have to learn to run a marathon, you just have to learn to put one foot in front of the other and repeat it. And before you know it, you've done a certain distance, keep going, and you run a marathon and life's like that as well. It's not about the competition and everyone thinks it's all about who's richer, who's better looking, all the things are all about these different types of currency. It's not, it's all about being happy in your own skin. Because some of the happiest times that people enjoy, I mean, I was watching a documentary the other day all about people who go to Switzerland and go skiing in Switzerland, to Geneva and, 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 and San Moritz, and these guys are paying an absolute fortune to be left alone. Well, if you're unemployed, you're left alone as well. So you, you can get it for free. So get a happy balance between it, and suddenly you realize the key to life design and the key to success is about what you actually want and how to get it. And it's very easy to get it. When you start looking at things like The Secret, which you can check out at www.thesecret.tv or read the book or see the video online with there, you start to realise that it's not about 
Um, it's not about working hard, it's about working correctly. It's about doing the right things in the right way. Now, the most successful people, especially music, you know, half the people off their head half the time. They're not academics, they're just naturally gifted, or they follow what they're good at. I would guarantee that if you get the most talented person in the world versus somebody who just keeps that improving, eventually the person who, the Olympics is won by people who just keep practicing. Overnight successes are not overnight successes. They took 10, 20 years to get to that point where they were discovered or they created their own success. Anybody can do it. What are you going to be the best in the world at? If there's any message I could give to people, it would be very simple. Um, have a look at yourself in the mirror and realize that if you're fat, you're thin, you're tall, you're short, hairy, bald, whatever it is, this is what you've got. That's it. This is your starting point. Now you can change things with plastic surgery. They say that um, in the future, um, anybody who's born in the next, in 30 years time, say that the year 2030, they're gonna live to be over 400 years old because by then everything can be replaced. Literally hips, DNA, the lot will be replaced and reworked. So you can have a lot of time to be able to reinvent yourself. So the key is to find out who you are and who you want to be. That was a very simple way of doing that. Looking at yourself in the mirror and deciding who it is that you'd like to be. It doesn't matter who you are right now, but unless you actually know who you are right now, you won't be able to know whether you're improving in any direction that you're going to be. So how do you start making the difference? How do you start getting the first stage? Well, decide what you want to improve and buy a book on it, meet a life coach and contact a life designer. One of the other things to do is finding out somebody who's been successful being how you want to be and find out how they did it. Fast track. If you want to be the best chef in the world, read Gordon Ramsay's autobiography or any other top chef. Find out the mistakes he made and don't do them. Before you know it, you start fast tracking. And it is that easy. There's something in the world that you are the best at doing. Don't know what it is, and maybe you don't yet. What a great adventure to find out. Ha <laughs> ha